When it's time to renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again like I never did what I just did, and I'm just tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. This is an actress who is crying on live TV because she made a bad decision. You want to guess what it is? To work under Oprah. Things are not looking good for the famous TV star Oprah Winfrey, as she might have to step back for a while. Why? Well, it seems like she was not being very nice to other women in her job. For a pimp, what was that? Hustle and Flow. She was in um, uh, Baby Boy. She was in, um, you know, Taraji. You know, Taraji was in um, Hidden Figures. You know, Taraji P. Henson was nominated for an Oscar for the, uh, the Benjamin Buttons movie. The popular actresses who have been working with her faced a lot of hard things. By things we mean from being scammed and even being blacklisted from Hollywood. And wait until you see the actress who almost exposed the hidden rituals that these Hollywood elites were performing. So what is it that most actresses refuse to work under Oprah Winfrey? And why are they so scared to talk about her on live TV? Sit back, relax, and without wasting time, let's get into it. Not long ago, the amazing Monique, who won Oscar awards, bravely shared her unhappiness towards Oprah Winfrey. Now, she recently appeared on the Club Shay Shay podcast. In the long three-hour talk, her name was mentioned a lot. Let me tell you about Oprah Winfrey, Monique started telling Shannon Sharp with a clear respect for Oprah. I really care for that lady, but when it comes to talking about her, the reason is she hasn't been afraid to talk about me. She said it straight. If you start gossiping about me when I'm not there, you can be sure I'll talk about you in public. And when you thought things couldn't get more exciting, they did. Monique made some big statements against Oprah Winfrey. If you're curious about what started this, let me quickly explain. In 2019, Monique accused Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, and Lee Daniels of joining forces against her, saying they made her an outsider in Hollywood. She thought this was because she chose not to participate in the Oscar campaign for the movie Precious in 2009. The most surprising part is that even though Monique won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her great acting in Precious, she told the Hollywood Reporter in 2015 that Daniels, who directed the film, admitted to her that she had been pushed out. And Monique shared more about her ongoing argument with three people. She said that after the Oscar mess, Oprah took the top roles that were first given to her. It's a hard back and forth situation in Hollywood. Now, I don't know about how you guys feel, but stealing a main role from your co-actress, Oprah can do better than that. Anyway, this controversy has been going on for a while, but in 2022, we finally saw some changes. Monique and Daniels decided to solve their problems and forget the past. Still, the drama didn't stop there. Monique had more things to say, and she wasn't staying silent. She bravely asked Winfrey to join her on her podcast, hoping for an apology. Monique believes Winfrey harmed her, and she wants everyone to know. According to her, Tyler Perry and Oprah acted badly and wrongly, just watching as she was thrown under a bus. And they did nothing, absolutely nothing. Monique thinks that Winfrey especially crossed the line with her many times. However, Oprah has mostly stayed quiet as always about these claims, choosing not to join in the drama publicly. Instead, Oprah has kept working on her different media projects, charity work, and ventures that have secured her place in the entertainment industry. Now, we all know about her African schools and charity work and the rumors regarding those, but honestly, that's so messy that I can make a whole Netflix series on that. Anyway, Oprah's silence has left fans and industry people guessing about their relationship and whether they will truly make up. Now, moving on if you think Monique was the only one to tolerate Oprah's rudeness. Well, wait until you hear about our girl Jennifer Hudson. Even though she hasn't spoken up as much as Monique about her experiences, insiders suggested that there have been problems behind the scenes. You're gonna get a lot of flack for saying you're not African-American. You know that, right? I don't label myself. Do you remember when Oprah was about to finish her 25-year-long show? She talked about Jennifer Hudson. It was a day she will always remember because things didn't go as planned. Jennifer Hudson, or J-Hud as most people call her, didn't do her best. She was there, she went to the sound check, and everything seemed just fine. Then, unexpectedly, she flew to Texas for a performance the next day. Not a big problem, right? But the weather had a different idea. It snowed a lot, and her flight back to Chicago was delayed. This made her late for the show. 
<laughs> Tell us, where, how did you come up with the idea to recreate the color purple in this way? It wasn't my idea. It was Scott Sanders who first had the idea to take it to Broadway. I couldn't imagine turning the color purple into a musical, mm. having done the original back in 1985. You might be asking, so what if she was late? But let me tell you, it was a big event in the fast-paced world of daytime TV. Oprah said, that was a lot of excitement because we've never been left alone before. Some of the harsh words had to be cut from the show. Everyone was upset, from the people making the show to the audience. Oprah said, everybody was angry. It was exciting, and for good reason. No guest had ever left her and her audience waiting like this, especially when they were there the night before. At the same time, Jay hud got in trouble not just for coming late, but for how she dealt with the tricky situation. Some people close to the matter said that Jennifer didn't say sorry enough, which made Oprah and her team unhappy. Even though both sides stayed polite, you could feel the stress in the room. Even with this mistake, Oprah still said nice things about Hudson's skills and wins at least in front of the audience, but the behind the scenes were much more likely to be bad than expected. According to some fans, Oprah is not only mean to black actresses, but she also acts like a person who has a bad personality overall. Let me tell you why I am saying this big thing. Lots of people have seen that Oprah sometimes stops being friends with or moves away from some people in the movie and TV world. They think this happens because there might be problems or things they haven't talked about. This makes people wonder how she acts with others. People who have worked with her or been on her shows have different stories about what happened. Even though some people say bad things about her, it's clear that Oprah has done a lot in the media world. For example, have you ever wondered why the famous Oprah Winfrey is in the middle of a messy political argument because of Donald Trump's fans? It's all about her kind gift to the people hurt by the terrible Maui, Hawaii wildfires in August 2023, which is still causing a fuss in the world of right-wing social media. For those who don't know, during the fire in Maui, actors Dwayne The Rock and Oprah made an appeal to their fans to donate to the people of Maui. Can you imagine being a billionaire and asking other people for help? Now, as far as we know, the kind people in Maui were given two big donations of $1,200 by October 2023. But guess what? One loud conservative decided to cause a fuss on social media platform X, claiming that the financial help given was only $750, while billions went to Ukraine after the Maui fires. If you're not shocked yet, I am going to drop another big bomb about Oprah on you. Remember when the amazing Taraji P. Henson highlighted the pay difference among African-American actresses in Hollywood? Well, that attention quickly shifted to the media boss, Oprah Winfrey. People are saying that I was not supporting Taraji. Taraji will tell you herself that I've been the greatest champion of this film, championing not only the behind-the-scenes production, but also everything that everybody needed. So Winfrey also helped to make Henson's new movie, The Color Purple. Some people ignored the studio that paid for the movie, you know, the ones with money. Even with people talking in quiet voices, both Henson and Winfrey say they are not mad at each other. Henson does not want her friendship with the ex-talk show star to turn into a big fight in Hollywood. She doesn't want this to take attention away from the movie, which means a lot to both of them. During an interview, Henson said, I hope they can pay attention to this movie because right now, it seems like what I said is louder than this lovely movie. Now the Hollywood underpaying scandal was about to disappear until Taraji P. Henson cried on live TV that showed her true feelings how harsh the studios were to her. For those who didn't watch it, let me play it a bit for you. I'm, a, I'm only human and, and it seems every time I do something and I break another glass ceiling, when it's time to renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again like I never did what I just did and I'm just tired. tired. Henson argued that the fuss wasn't fair, not to her or anyone in the movie. The Color Purple is not about fights in Hollywood, but unfair treatment. It's about women, men, and everyone in the movie who isn't white and lives in an unfair world. It's about recovering and the power of friendship. Before, Henson had been honest about the hard work she had to do to get fair pay as a black woman in Hollywood, and this work includes small things like getting a ride to the studio. The sad part is that, with all this fuss, Oprah's amazing career is still what people notice. Even with the complaints, she remains important in the media world. Now as for me, I totally respect Oprah Winfrey and I don't want any one of you to go spread any negative comments about her, just show some respect. So. There you have it. What is your opinion on Oprah's bad behavior towards black actresses? Let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to click on this another messy video.